What's up, Fragrant Family? This is Tyler Simply Fragrances, and today I'm bringing you kind of a unique video. So this is going to be five fragrances that I think are still worth buying today. Now, these are five classic fragrances that I personally still enjoy, still wear, and I think, honestly, you should still give them a shot if you've never smelled them. I do have one honorable mention, um, just because it's a really good cheapie, and it's just a good, like, anytime, just, you know, kind of wear it on the go, lay around the house, just kind of an easy fragrance to wear. Some of these, uh, you're definitely going to know. Uh, one of them, I don't know, like some of them, some of you might know this, some of you old heads probably definitely will, but uh, I got kind of an old spirit, kind of an old soul, and I love, you know, kind of a gentleman's classic fragrance. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this, guys. First, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that red subscribe button. That really helps me out. Uh, guys, we honestly were at like 200 subscribers, like at the beginning of the month, middle of the month, somewhere in there in January. Here it is, kind of the middle of February. Guys, we're like 230 subscribers, man. Thank you guys seriously so much for all the love and support. I honestly can't believe that, man. Before we know, we're gonna be at 300 and just so on and so forth. So please continue to hit the red subscribe button, uh, share my videos, and uh, let's get this channel uh, going. So. All right, guys, these are in no really particular order. Um, these are just five plus one honorable mention. I don't know why it's an honorable mention. It's just, I don't know, five sounded better. And I was like, well, I wanted to get this one in there. So six would be kind of weird. So it's an honorable mention. And it's my video, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, man, I hope you guys are staying warm. I'm here in Springfield, Missouri. It is currently negative two degrees outside with a windshield of negative 15. Um, the high tomorrow is supposed to be negative eight. So... It's going to be cold, um, but uh, I got nice fragrances to keep me warm and keep me giving that warm, cozy feeling, so I uh, hope you guys are staying warm. Uh, those of you who are in Florida, if anyone is in Florida watching this, enjoy that 80 degree weather because, man, the rest of the country is freezing. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into this. So, the first one on this came out way back in 1996. Now, that doesn't seem super long ago, but uh, that's been like 20-something years ago, almost 20 what is that, uh, 20, 24 years ago, somewhere in there, 24, 25 years ago. And this is Versace the Dreamer. Now, um, you know, this still gets a lot of love in the fragrance community, but man, I still see, so good. I still see newbies, you know, coming in and, you know, just discovering or, or you know, asking, hey, what's this Versace Dreamer I keep hearing about? Man, it's just a really great citrusy, fresh, with a wet tobacco leaf kind of fragrance. And I still think it's relative today. I don't really think it smells dated. I don't think it smells, you know, from the 90s. It just smells citrusy and great. Um, you get that wet tobacco leaf in there and it's honestly still a banger in my opinion. So first on the list, Versace the Dreamer. Now, next on the list, this is actually the oldest one on here. Now, you've probably smelled this before and maybe not realized it, but I guarantee you either your grandpa wore it, your uncle wore it, your dad wore it, your dad's friend, someone back in the 70s and 80s definitely wore this. This was from 1979, and this is Paul Sebastian. Yes, Paul Sebastian. Man, probably some of you are thinking, man, why is this even on the list? I guarantee you a lot of y'all are here today because your daddy wore this. I'm just saying. This stuff, man, it is classic. It does have a little bit of a dated feel to it. It is um, kind of a classic gentleman's fougere type fragrance, but not so much on the barber shop side, but just that classic gentlemanly musky uh, lavender kind of fragrance. And honestly, the dry down on this bad boy, man, it is fantastic i love this stuff my wife absolutely hates this stuff like literally i can't come within 10 feet uh whenever i wear this because this stuff projects like a freaking beast i mean literally if you do more than like two sprays you're gonna kill yourself and everyone around you this stuff projects like a beast and you don't need more than two sprays especially if you're gonna be in close proximity with people but this stuff on the dry down man this does the trick dressed down creamy lavendery almost kind of got like this barbershop feel in the very very dry down but when you first put this on it's just musk and just potent power that's what this is but still definitely worth it if you haven't got your uh, nose on this guys go to burlington ross um tj maxx places like that i picked this up for like 20 bucks guys i mean 20 bucks for a fragrance that literally lasts all day and man you literally grow like 17 gray chest hairs when you spray this on it's like 
and they instantly start growing. This stuff will make a man out of you. Paul Sebastian, gotta check it out. All right, guys, next on the list, this one came out back in 1985, and there's still a lot of controversy. Well, this came out before this. No, this one came out before this one. Who copied who? Well, you might guess what I'm talking about if you haven't. Some people say that Green Irish Tweed came first, but I personally believe that Cool Water was the winner. I don't know 100%, but we'll say for the sake of the argument that Green Irish Tweed came first, but who knows? I think that this one, I think, I don't know. I don't 100% know, but from all the research I've done, this it says that this one potentially came first, but someone in the comment section is probably gonna murder me in the comments and say, no, Green Irish Tweed came first, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this stuff, man, it really, really, really stinks because this is not what it used to be. I used to have a bottle of this back in like seventh grade. I do like five sprays. It would last all day. Got so many compliments. The teachers thought I smelled great. I mean, this, I mean, it does kind of like, I don't know how to say that it smells dated without being dated because it, it smells like something from the eighties and nineties, but it doesn't like, I don't know doesn't stink if that makes sense like it's like no one's gonna smell this and say oh you're wearing something from the 80s you know what I mean it's just like it's got that vibe that chill factor that that kind of just clean watery I mean it's cool water but you know it just kind of one of those vibes I don't know it just it smells clean fresh got that it doesn't have lemon lemon verbena in there but it's got that green Irish tweed vibe to it and they've kind of gutted this like this doesn't last anywhere like it used to I mean I can spray like 12 sprays of this on right now and in 30 minutes you know it might be projecting maybe two inches I, you know what I mean it's just not what it used to be but um still I definitely think it is definitely worth checking out and getting just for nostalgia's sake and just for like a cheap fragrance if you're gonna run to the Walmart or the bank or something like that just put it on real quick you'll get you'll get compliments people are gonna tell you smell good smell fresh smell clean Davidoff cool water definitely still a must-have still needs to be checked out boom all right next on the list this one is actually really special to me because this one is one of the first fragrance actually i think it, it is the first fragrance that i remember uh my good old pops wearing um whenever a lot of y'all might not know um but uh you know i was adopted by my stepdad you know um my mom is my real mom but uh my stepdad who i just call my dad because he raised me and that's how i see him but anyways uh he adopted me and uh, when him and my mom were first dating um you know he'd always come in smell just like a man you know like i was like man even as a kid i was like man he smells good like what is that well literally probably 20 two years ago now somewhere in there 23 years ago i got in this truck and it was just me and him we were driving he went to take me to get some ice cream i thought it was super cool because you know didn't have a father figure in my life and you know until him and i uh, went and got ice cream and he opened up his glove compartment he had a truck and it had a little glove compartment and the cologne wasn't in there but when he opened it i could smell i was like man what is this like it smells really good he told me it was an old cologne called red well you know, a couple years down the road, my buddy, he used to wear uh, Perry Ellis 360 red. And I was like, oh, well, that's got to be it. Smelled it. Didn't smell anything like it. Well, I just so happened to find this at Perfume Gallery in the mall. Shout out to Roz. Um, and it just caught my attention. It said red. I was like, no way. This can't be. Sure enough, opened the box, smelled it. And right away, I knew it was red by Giorgio Beverly Hills. George Giorgio Beverly Hills, however you want to say it. Man, ooh, I almost dropped it. That would have been really bad. But this stuff, man... This, I confirmed it with my dad. This is the exact um, fragrance that he used to wear back in the day. And man, this is just a woody, spicy, almost on the verge of like a fougere, but not quite fragrance, man. This is just manly, masculine, just not quite as pungent and powerful as Paul Sebastian, but man, this stuff is definitely still a lady killer. Like I walked by my boss the other day walked by wearing this and she's like man like you smell just kind of like i don't know like a like a middle-aged man but it smells really really good and i was like I, I, i'll take that as a compliment you know what i mean but uh it does kind of have a little dated feel to it but man if you guys are wanting to check out something that's you know masculine kind of kind of on the smoky side got that um oh what's the word i'm looking for it's not a fougere but it's just got that that woody spicy kind of factor to it check out red i got this for like 19 bucks or actually 12 bucks off amazon give this one a try this one came out in the 1980s like 1989 somewhere in there all right guys and then this one i believe 
I want to say, yeah, this one, this one also came out in the, in the 80s. This one, I absolutely love everything about this bottle. That's why I'm hitting it. No, but I do love, I love everything about the fragrance, the way it smells, the bottle, the packaging, the name. It's very intriguing. And this one comes from the house of Ralph Lauren. And this one comes, this one came out in 1980, somewhere, 85, 89. This is Safari. And I just got this bad boy. And man, oh man. This is classy, elegant, sophistication in a bottle. I mean, just look at the bottle. You can tell that this is not for your average Joe. This is not for the young pup. You know, you're not going to be 17 smelling like some safari, but oh, man, it's super, super awesome. It's got this leathery, creamy dry down, and it's just a woody, leathery, creamy, amazing fragrance i absolutely love this it does smell a little bit dated but you can pick this up for relatively cheap i mean i got this full this is a four point something 4.1 4.2 ounce bottle off of fragrance uh, x.com for like 50 bucks somewhere in there so not not too bad but man this this stuff right here i still personally think is definitely worth checking out all right guys and the last one on the list the reason why it's last on the list is just because it doesn't really have like a, a classic vibe about it. You know, not many people know about it, you know, like they would Cool Water or Paul Sebastian. But this one came out in 1999. So, you know, almost, you know, a little like what, 21 years ago now, somewhere in there. And it definitely has a 90s vibe to it. But it's clean. It's very fresh. It's got a great a great wow a really great grapefruit note and it's just one of those classic like i'm gonna lay around the house or i'm gonna wear it after i get out of the shower or before i go to bed or um, just something to kind of laze around in and this is salvatore Ferragamo. Ferragamo, sorry uh pour on and this stuff man like i said this is like a citrusy just grapefruit like amazingness like Man, it just, well, this mixed with um, Safari doesn't really smell all that great. But that grapefruit note in there, man, it is clean. It's a little spicy. It's got a little bit of a, a fresh powdery note to it. But that grapefruit is really the star of it. And uh, like I said, this did come out in like the late 90s, early 2000s. And it, it just has that era about it, if that makes sense. Like, you, you, I don't know if you're, you know, ever watch a TV show that you used to watch when you were a kid. You kind of watch it and you're like, man, you get that old nostalgia kind of feeling. That's kind of what I get whenever I smell this. It just makes me think of, you know, like my uh, kind of early teens, well, late childhood, early teens. It just kind of has that early 2000s vibe to it and it's i think it's still relative uh to this day so that's why i wanted to uh put this in there if you haven't smelled it i picked this up for 12 bucks at uh, uh ross actually uh at ross's and uh definitely worth every penny 12 bucks for this bad boy um just clean classic um smelling just grapefruit so <laughs> anyways well guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope maybe for some of you uh older guys that uh, watch this i won't say older i'll say wiser for some of you wiser gentlemen out there that watch this channel hope i brought back some good memories for you um you know there is so many that i could have included like uh polo green the original but i don't have a bottle of that um aqua de jo aqua de Gio, and it's you know what i'm talking about it, it's so many different ways to say it actually i don't own a bottle of that i know it's a cardinal sin not to own uh the armani uh, aqua di Gio, but i don't um you know and you know several other classics but i wanted to go with the ones that I have in my collection just because i like showing bottles and stuff and uh yeah so anyways guys well that's going to do it for this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead hit that red subscribe button that really helps me out uh like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down leave me a comment let's open this comment section up and uh let me know if you guys are wearing any of these if you guys have them or if you remember your your pops or your uncle or anyone like that wearing them uh let's open this comment section up and i can get it going so all right guys that's gonna do it for this video remember if you love it wear it